It has been several months since the GTA 6 first trailer, and I just realized I have not looked at the GTA 6 mapping project a single time. I've seen plenty of speculation maps, but I haven't seen a map based off any of the leaks in the trailer locations that is not speculation, but instead factual, based off, of course, the leaks in the trailer. This mapping project is very important because back when GTA 5 was getting leaked and had its first trailers, the mapping project eventually got to about 98 or 99% accuracy before the game even came out and before we even had the map in our hands. So considering we only have one trailer and some September 2022 leaks to look at, we don't have much to look at overall, but still really, really cool to see what the community has come up with so far. Quickly, I would love to give a huge shout out to all of these guys who have been working on the project. You guys are all, all of you guys are amazing. So this map that we're seeing is working mostly off of the trailer and the September of 2022 leaks. There's a map here that is very, very, very much speculation, including all this area here. But we're going to look at that in a minute. Now, if you guys would like to check out this map, I'll leave it down below in the description for you guys to check out. It's on a website. It's free. You can totally go check it out whenever you want. Compare it. Take a look at it whenever. And when they update the map, you can take a look at it for yourself. But one thing I am absolutely in love with right away is the fact that we'll probably have an east and west city. GTA 5, which we can take a look at here only really goes north and south we have los santos here most of our businesses are just stuck in los santos and it's really boring we can't really go east or west we're stuck to this one city anytime we're moving north or south we're just going through mountain ranges or highways it's really the only way we can go north or south unless of course we're flying we have sandy shores and grapeseed as our tiny little two towns here sorry i can't make the transparency a little bit better and then Polito Bay which yeah you could put your businesses up here but they're so isolated from the rest of the actual map which is Los Santos I'm just thinking in GTA Online business standards and that's why I'm excited for this map here because it actually looks like that if this ends up being an entire city because like I said there's not too much to see here because we're just basing it off the September leaks and as well as the trailer so we have like a minute worth of trailer footage and like an hour of leak footage that is mostly just walking around in a street but I would love the opportunity to actually have to think about where my businesses are going to be in GTA 6 online that's going to be really cool we see a pawn shop here for example maybe if we have a house robbery business I want to get my house robbery business here so I'm close to the pawn shop now let's imagine for a second that this is all correct but there's a lot of pieces missing which we obviously know let's imagine that this is the map right here keep in mind this map is most based off speculation and a little bit off of the leaks obviously like the vice city beach area here that is confirmed from the trailer and leaks and stuff but a lot of this middle area that we haven't seen yet from either trailers or leaks is completely speculation but let's imagine that some of this is going to be true instead of one area vice city that we're stuck to for all our businesses and mc warehouses and all this shit we actually get to branch off and maybe get a business up here in the bayside or all the way up here in yorktown and even up here in the sundown and i love the idea and we haven't really been able to do it since gta 4 and san andreas we actually get to move east and west and go see other cities to the east and west which is really cool even in gta san andreas for example we had los santos san fierro and los venturas this would have been a wonderful gta online map too bad that they didn't make online at the time but Hey, it would have been really, really good because it would have actually mattered where your businesses were and you wouldn't have felt so isolated to one area. And this map, even to this day, still feels so much more open and spacious compared to GTA 5, at least in my opinion. Once again, this map is very, very, very speculated. We might not have anything in this middle area here. Could That could be Lake Lanita. We don't know for sure. We also get a ton of trailer locations. If you were to go to the trailer one at 38 seconds, we would be able to see off the hotel 
Bell Tower. This mapping project is really, really cool. I'm excited for another trailer so this can get updated. I want to plan out where my businesses are going way ahead of GTA 6 and GTA 6 Online because I'm a total nerd for this game, obviously. Once again, taking a look at the very speculated map. Cool concept idea for businesses and how they may possibly work. So let's take three cities, for example. Little Haiti and Vice City here and uh hank hill in port gellhorn and someplace in fairyland so fairyland little haiti and hank hill we have these three locations and maybe you can get a business in one of each let's say it's a drug business so when you get a resupply maybe you get the resupply up in copperhead maybe instead of taking it all the way back down to little haiti you can instead have a supply route maybe here in fairyland if you of course have the money and the funds and the capitalistic criminal empire mindset to do so that'd be really cool if we could have one business but have three warehouses that we could turn it in at kind of like the special crate warehouse business the map is obviously going to be way way bigger and i don't want to do all that driving for my businesses and for example maybe uh there's some crack fiends down in vice city that is paying a little bit more for your drug business sales at the time so instead of selling it out here in hank hill you come down to Little Haiti and you sell your business to the folk in Rock Ridge. Yeah, I'm just really excited to fly down one of these freeways in the fastest car in the game. Or even the keys just absolutely blast at like 300 miles an hour. I could stare at these maps all day and just imagine, imagine, imagine. But of course, let me know what you guys think and just take a look at it for yourselves. I really hope we can get a maybe an apartment down here on uh dildo drive i didn't actually realize or dildo it's dildo drive jesus christ i want to get a house on dildo drive get a get a cool helicopter pad on the roof and be perfectly centered in vice city that'd be so cool it's kind of where tommy versetti's house was in vice city not in exactly i think he would have had a house up here or something i'm not entirely sure let me know what you guys think of the gta 6 mapping project so far i'm really excited like i said i hate being isolated to los santos for all of of our 45 businesses at this point here are the five moonshine shack locations that you can choose from in red dead online these are five locations that are very very far apart and are in completely different states and since the moonshine bottles are extremely fragile and for the sale missions you have to be very careful on which paths you take taking the business up of the mountain is actually a terrible idea but instead new austin or then here in lemoyne in the bayou is actually the best place for the location these are some simple and small things that might not matter at first glance but in hindsight really do matter when it comes to all the business details i know i was really late making one of these videos but i'll be sure to stay a little bit more up to date once the new trailer or trailers start coming out so there you have it fellas that is the most up-to-date grand theft auto 6 map that we will probably see parts of in the final game once again i hope you guys did enjoy and in the meantime check out these videos right here and i'll see you guys in the next one peace